What's going on everyone? My name is Derek. Welcome back to my channel in episode three of our MV Agusta F3 XX track bike build. Today is all about air intake. Today we're doing velocity stacks, we're doing air filter, we're doing air intake runners. We are doing rad upper rad screen guard slash thingy um, and maybe a few other things. So a lot going on today so let's jump right into it. The first step in the process of doing the air filter and velocity stacks is we need to get the cover off of our air box. And I promise you, this will be a lot easier than the velocity stack mod that we did on my BMW S1000RR. The F3 has a two piece air box, which means the top can be separated from the bottom. The BMW has a two piece air box, but it's glued. The top is glued to the bottom, so you can't separate them. So here, all we need to do is break out a Phillips screwdriver and remove all the screws on the side, disconnect the electrical connectors, and the whole thing will just come right off like a clamshell. Let's get to it. So here are the internals of our air box guys. We have our air filter element here. We have our three varying lengths velocity stacks and we have our crankcase breather sponge here for any oil that may come up and blow by through the crankcase. What we're going to be replacing, we're going to be replacing this air filter element and we are going to be replacing this center velocity stack. So the, uh, the hot mod for race teams is to run three of the same size velocity stacks. So we're gonna be removing this center one and replacing it uh, with a stock OE taller unit. That's really it, not a whole lot to this one. All right guys, so as you can see, we're over here at my desk or my bench and I have a secondary MVF3 air box. I picked this up on eBay for about 30 bucks, I wanna say, I think $40 shipped. Um, and I got it, um, primarily for the velocity stacks that are inside of it. Um, you can see here, there's a big crack here, so the upper half isn't usable. However, there are a bunch of spare parts on here that uh, might come in handy one day, particularly with MV, you know that spare parts are always welcome. So obviously a spare air filter element. We have another temp sensor up here that we can take off. We have an upper fuel rail with wiring harness and injector so this is really cool so i can take this off use that as spare parts but if we separate it this is what we are really after the velocity stacks in here so i think if you want to do this velocity stack mod to buy a tall velocity stack directly from mv agusta i think it's like 30 bucks 25 30 bucks plus shipping um and like i said i got this off of ebay for 30 dollars total so i get uh two spares um and some additional parts, so it's a no-brainer. So all we're going to do, remove one of these from here, go on over to the other bike and replace the smaller one so that we'll have all three the same height.
All right, guys, with the Velocity Stack mod done, we can move on to the air intake runners and the air filter element. Before we move on to the radiator guard, let's salvage some parts off the airbox that we got from eBay.
wanted to talk about the intake runners a little bit before we installed the one on the right side. Um, and the reason why I got these ridiculously expensive MWR um, F3 intake runners. Obviously they come in two pieces. So you got the attachment part that goes onto the air box and then this can slide into here. I got these um, because you can tell the, uh, the openings much, much bigger on the MWR as, a paired, as compared to the OEM, letting in or allowing in a lot more air, which means we'll need to get this dyno tuned. Otherwise the bike will most likely run super, super lean. Um, the other reason is you can see that these are much longer Then the stock units, you, particularly you can see over here on the bike, this is where the OE front mesh grill was. And I think it's about, you know, inch, inch and a half long, maybe even a little bit longer. And it allows, it closes the gap, that, that piece closes the gap between the intake runner and your upper fairing. Um, unfortunately, that piece isn't compatible with track day fairings. So you end up with this gap that's roughly this length here between the uh, upper fairing and the intake runner. And what that does is it allow dirt, allows dirty air, turbulent air into the intake runner. Now I can't imagine that that dirty air is sapping much horsepower, if any at all. However, I just wanted to clean it up because I'm a little OCD and anal that way. I believe the fuel injectors are up to snuff to flow enough fuel. We'll find out once it's on the dyno. I'm hoping these uh, uh, create a little bit more power for us. So. Um, let me put you on the tripod and uh, we'll get this other one installed.
All right, guys, I think that is it for episode number three. You guys know the deal. Like, comment, subscribe, or smash it if you didn't like it. Until episode number four, guys, take care.